have to keep giving it. Because if I got stuck there, I would have been in the hole. Whew. I remember when I drove that up in. I drove that up in the white last time. Good. It wasn't that bad. That is good. That is good. That is good. when we came up to it. Yeah, we didn't see how deep that was. Up into camera? Yeah. Oh. All right. You can see all the people the track built here. I f Do you know what? I feel really good right now because I know, I know people have had to track build this to climb up this. So that's actually that's crazy. Yeah, 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 I was I was <laughs> I was lowing on I was dropping torque, so I had to I had to um just keep it on, keep the power going. Oh, let's go. There oh, you go. Cliff is going for the send it. Keep it going. Woo! Close. So close. It was so close. You can see his wheel screaming for traction. Just, just wanted to grab it and it couldn't get there. Get. I'm gonna change the camera angle so you get it. I reckon if I track build this a little bit. Let me know if you want me to track build. Hey, what's his What's his front wheel doing over here? It's contacting and then it spins. Yeah, where where about? He might have dropped some more pressures. Oh. Man, imagine if you took the left line and hit that lip there hard. Imagine the lift you get on the front. Yeah, I reckon, because that's not working. Oh. Woo! Let's go! That's what I mean. You just needed to hop over just a little bit just so it gets a bit of traction through here. I have to say from experience, you just sometimes can't see that though. It's really hard to work out your wheel placements when you demand. Like, when we're first coming up here, this is invisible, guys. This hole is completely invisible to you. You actually don't see how deep it is. That was like when Wall was like, nah, 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 I probably don't need to film this because it looks all right. But it's kind of, it's tricky because look at this. As you're kind of down here, at the bottom, like you don't see that hole. Do you know what I mean? And then you get up here, and as soon as I was kind of here, I'm like, oh, okay, I see the situation now. <laughs> yeah, 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 I was committed. I'm not sure what line I took it, it was a bit hard to tell, but. But. Anyway, what was that? But that's why it always, uh, generally in stuff like this, you, you, it's, a, it's a good idea to have a spotter. Because they can generally see a line that you may not be able to from inside the cab. Yeah. They can guide you back. Well, but you got to make sure this spotter is someone that you can reliably take directions from. Yeah, that you're comfortable from taking directions from. Um, also, apologies for the really high pitched squeal before. <laughs> I was just really excited that he got it. I love it when you can overcome a challenge and you, you get it without the need for aids. How do you feel after that one? <laughs> no sweat? No, no sweat. No sweat. <laughs> huh? 
when I get home. Ah, oh, when you get home. <laughs> Here you go. We have to jump down Luke. Second and first, the yeah. transmission come on to the The what, what? The transmission light. Do you want me to clear it? No, no, it's all good. Is it clear? Yeah, yeah, I'll clear it. No, have you cleared it? No, no, no. It no. will affect you down here though, won't it? No. Okay. So they've got a loose wire and loose If you need me to clear it, so the computer's happy, let me know. I've got all this stuff here. No. Oh, I'll put it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. This is a good one, guys. This is why you carry scantle. And that when it stalls. Yeah, yeah. They have a thing. They do it all the time. Oh, we get we get codes all the time. But I've noticed that if you have codes going on and you ignore it, it backs off performance or does something. Oh. What, what code do you think it was for? Uh, just like the uh, the temperature. No, it was um, the exhaust gas recirculation control. Mm. Is that because I've got a blanking plate in it? Hang on. That's not illegal. Get me kicked off YouTube. <laughs> Here you go, engine light's gone. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, for disclaimer, I'm not responsible for the other vehicles that come with me, whether their modifications are legal or not. So these things that you, you have, like it's like a tunnel where a train goes in, and if they put brick wall there, the train can't go in anymore. So Excellent, yes. That's what it is. Okay. <laughs> train system. <laughs> Um, my catalytic converters are all intact and legal. <laughs> this is what I call full drive mode, guys, in the adventurer. When she's jacked on the air suspension as high as she goes. <laughs> now, we never went to the, that didn't exist when we came through the first time. That was too deep. Will went in, lost his nose. I remember that. We ended up coming through here, but this log here was danger. Remember this little thing? Yeah, because you had to drive. Can't move it. And it's sharp. And then you have to go over this, which someone's tried to cut to try and avoid. So that's. So that's this a, is it. How deep is it? Oh, it's not deep. I recommend if you want to film me coming through this one, you have to, I'll be doing it. Over I'll be doing it forward. I'm not stupid enough to stand behind it. If you want to see what happens, hey guys, if you want to see what happens if you stand um, behind, <laughs> link in the video description now. <laughs> Safely. These things are waterproof, aren't they? Yeah, the phones are. Cool. Let me, I'm just going to stop this camera for a second. Yeah, that's actually, that's pretty, that's a significant drop there. I think you'll be okay. All right. Da -dum. Da -dum. And jump. Okay. Yep, you're all right. Slowly. You're in. Nah, not yet. Angle it that way a little bit though. Voila, splush! Yeah? Uh, kind of the same like this. Not good. It's not a good. It's not a good show. 
Can you place all the way down that one? No, all the way to uh, just under my, my trans sump, yeah. the halfway, where my um, cross member is. I've only got the two, the, the plastic one under the seat. Yeah, no, well, it wouldn't have hit that, that nah. won't hit that. But. It's, I can't find them anymore. So, so this track only gets significantly worse from here. No, that's <laughs> right. Okay. It's better than going back down that big ditch. We still may need to turn around, yeah. Ah, no. Why are you so negative? I'm not, I'm just letting it's you know. It's all flowers and daisies and pixie dust. There, were, there was a spot up there, there's only one line through. The other lines are literally like oh, that's, that's right. excavator holes. Yeah, we're, we're probably going to get stuck. I'm you won't that. get me saying, oh, I hate this or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, this is all fun times. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> not going to lie, the Pathfinder made that look so much easier. Did it? It just rolled over that stump. Yeah, I struggled. I was so worried about piercing the tyre there. All right, guys, we've arrived at the last time we were here, probably the highest concern for this track. And I'm going to walk you through and explain why. I mean, you'll probably see this straight away. Obviously, we're not doing the big hole. Don't get excited. That's the season of your car to heaven there. That's death. Uh, that's the track we took last time. Uh, that'll be the track we'll be taking again. This hole here, yeah, last time I came in here, remember? Across. Yeah, so did I. But we don't, I think we just take it from the start. This is deep as deep as anything. That is super deep, FYI. So is that one. All these holes are like monster. This one, though, we don't know what's under here since we've been here, so... Alright, here, if you take that for one second, I'll go get a stick and do a, a depth check on depth what we're thinking about doing. So, yeah, I mean, this should be... Pretty, this was soft, soft, soft pun in the middle, but it was generally okay, and the exit was pretty good. So I'm just checking the exit now. Yeah, so once truck built been slippery here once upon a time just gotta dodge that stump right there swing out there we had a troopy come through here last time and didn't quite clear the treetop but that's this is the line it's the only line really this is the part i was worried about because i remember last time obviously that's terrible mm -hmm. that's drowning <laughs> this was bad but i was wondering if this had started to get chewed up because this was the only way through but it's actually still in pretty good nick so patrols and cruisers pathfinders <laughs> you just, you just, you, Ford Rangers. I've seen this when this is almost empty, mm. and the drop in and departure and exit is just phenomenally crazy. This one I, watched I the think Keith, the day, I think it? Keith did this one yeah, yeah. here in the territory. I, I don't the other way. I wouldn't go this way. I don't know if he's. I don't know if he was able to do it without winching, but I didn't bring my four wheel drive to go swimming. How deep? <laughs> you know, it's yeah. I stay away from stuff like that. I don't, mm. Deeper? Yeah. See, look at that. Look at that. First thing. Yeah. So um anyway we'll give this a go then. <laughs> just for just for humor's sake. Oh. Yeah, but it's the it's not it's, I don't think it's a depth there, it's the exit. But yeah, that's not gonna happen. Alright, yeah. Okay. Yeah, right yeah, yeah, it just drops like will 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 drop. Like look how much mud. Yeah, nah. Oh, bit of touch on the front there, some bash plate action. There'll be a bit of scrape here. Especially when it comes down that lip. Not too bad. Oh, bouncing. Whoa, fucking. the water. And again, Pathfinder just has a slight bit of articulation, so it just rolls over those little humps where the adventurer sometimes needs to have a little bit of extra bickies. Yeah. Yeah. 
You were for a second. Oh, Jesus Christ. Close. I'd actually go back. Swing <laughs> yeah. to the left. Just watch out, you've got another lock stump under you. Just start. Logs, anyway. That way? Yep. Yep, straighten out. Yep. Straighten out. Yep. Yep. Straight. Yep. Straight. Yep. You've got another log, you've got to worry about the inner wheels. Keep no, he's coming. fine on that, he's clear on that. Keep coming, keep coming. He was actually on it, wasn't he? Oh. Oh, I've tried to move the log like that with my leg. Almost, that's, that's a heavy log. I almost pulled my, I'll pull my leg out of its socket. <laughs> heavy log. I felt my hip bone pop. I'll get two Big Macs and a milkshake, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> no worries, let me... There's, not that, there's actually not that much more left of this truck. Just... There's that really, really deep water hole, which is a bypass, which we'll never do, so... <laughs> what if those guys drown themselves last time in that trip? Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, all right. That's rock and roll. Yeah, that's pretty good outcome. All right, we just arrived at the hole that we, we saw a troopy go under in. This actually... We actually have a video of while well, it nosed in on there. I drove, this. This is where I nosed into, <laughs> on the left-hand side there. So you want to actually get out? This might actually be a good little watch. So uh, this this over here was where I nosed into, oh, step there, and uh, my mum was passenger and I freaked her ass out. It's hilarious. Well, what you do, was yep. um, accelerate till you get about halfway of halfway of the rev range. Jack your uh, jack your handbrake up. So what he's doing? And what he's doing here? He's going to put the handbrake on, yeah. accelerate. And then it locks. It locks the, it helps locks the back wheels and diverts yeah. power to the front. <laughs> and, <laughs> pretty, pretty smart. <laughs> anyway, this is a little bypass track for it. Down here, that looks a bit deeper down there than it used to be. Uh, so we'll see how we go. Below, pause the video. Dragon this is drives up this, and then resume it. See if your hands are correct. No editing, no cheating. Oof. Jeez, you wouldn't want that to kick too hard to the left. That stump. Where it gets a bit sketchy down there. Some uh, I don't want to get too close, I don't want to get covered in mud. Easy done. Uh, I don't think the Pathfinder would like that line. You don't get any wheel up? No. No, I actually did think, to be honest, oh, that's a stump. Jesus. <laughs> I actually thought here you, you, you would have got a bit of, uh, you know, weird feeling and stuff. It would have been a bit more of an angle, but it just seemed to okay. ride it okay right. without too many issues. Oh, no, no. Oh, dude, in the Fortuna, that'd be sketch. No, no, I can do that because there's low center of gravity. But I always like doing that when there's four-wheel drive around. Because they look at it and go, oh, I wouldn't have taken that line. And I just drive forward so it doesn't be fine. But the low center just is awesome. This is where I sprayed Chris's car with mud. This is the stuff that I don't mind. It's sort of technical. Yeah, 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 yeah. The exit's just around the corner. Um, on the first row, do you want to lead us into the camera? So as soon as we get out, I don't know, we'll yeah, to the left. Yeah, I'll to the left. Me. Um, you want me to check? Yeah, that. I'll pull up to the left. You just go around me. We'll hang behind you. Alright. Alright, well, that was Digger's track. Digger's track, pretty much done, boys. Digger's track done in Christmas time 2020. 2022. 2022. To be honest, uh. Not as bad as I remember it. Hmm. No, it was. It's worse. Like there are a lot of 
Um, the water hole's not as bad. So it's kind of worse in some... Like the rock steps, much, much worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, but the water holes were a little bit shallower and not as... Not as hectic as the first time we came through. Which is odd, because you would have thought they would have been more hectic. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit weird. It's like it's gone backwards a bit. I don't know. Camp spot here, from what I remember, up here on the right. Uh, and, uh, we yeah, had a fan yeah. over here. Goes, oh, what's your channel? Yeah. He was the one that was on. Um, what's it from? I can't remember. Is that a way out, way past? A lot of firewood there. Jeez, you have enough firewood to. Um, he was the one whose wife chased after us. Yeah, 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 yeah. To get a photo with us, because her husband's a big fan. Okay, let me just... I, when he first ran up to me, that guy, I thought he was going to tell me, you can't, you're, you won't be able to go that way. It's full drive. That's what I thought he was coming to tell me. Not, not to tell me <laughs> that he's he, a big fan. He's a fan of the channel. It's really good, guys, to be honest, when we're out here and you guys come up and say hi. It's awesome. It's, um... Come say hi, get a free sticker. That's what I have to say about it. <laughs> free stickers. And so what's this road now? Uh, this is Firth Road, I think. Firth Road. Yeah. And we're going to let uh, Cliff navigate lead from here. Since he now has a plan in the path here. Yeah, so this is Firth Road. That was Digger's track. Uh, yeah. How are you feeling? Oh, it's good. I'll, I'll, at the start, the way Digger's track started, I'm thinking, oh God, the track hasn't even started yet. And this is what it looks like. I'm like, oh, I don't know. And I'm thinking, I'm, I don't mind because we'll sort it out. If we haven't pulled the max tracks out yet, we're not stuck really. Um, but then I wasn't sure about Cliff, but he was, he's chilled. He's, he seems to, it's like, whatever dude, like, let's go. Show me, show me the hard tracks pretty much. Well, we've been driving for about five, 10 minutes. If you have a look here, guys, have a look at the map here. We started um, XL track. We turned on the XL track there off Ch Channel Road. And this is where we're now coming up on Firth Road. We've been driving for five minutes or maybe ten minutes since we turned off um, Digger's track. So we've, we've literally done a big no, circle. That's two stroke yeah, two <laughs> bikes up there. Well, two stroke bikes. But that's how, like, we're literally going to pass um, where we were before, I think. Yeah, that's a did big he, loop. Did, did he miss the turn? No, he didn't. Where's he going? I don't know if he knows where he's going. We'll see. But yeah, we're about, to, it is a loop. We're about to go past where we started. Because this is now Chettle Road again, isn't it? Uh, yeah, show, show them over here. We're Sorry, literally yeah. coming back over to where, where we were before at the start of XL track. So, Chettle Road. It's a nice little loop we just did there, guys, if you have a look. So, a couple of bumps down the bottom of that crest there. XL. XL track. Just keep going straight. Wait, I thought he was going. Yeah, keep going straight. Uh, uh, did, isn't this... So we've, this is where we were before, you realise that? Uh, that XL track. Alright, there's, uh, there's a little bit of communication. I thought I was following Cliff, he knew where he was going. He had an idea, but it's a bit confusing. He wants to get to a camp, uh, to first campground, and I, was, I thought he knew a different way, but what we're going to do is we're going to... Um, oh, actually, you can take billet track. You know you can take billet track to first campground? Yeah, I don't know where that is. That's coming up here on your right. Alright, alright. <laughs> that one up the side of the hill there. <laughs> nah, no, no, there's one coming up where, where we were doing the rock rock steps. <laughs> yeah, right, eh? If you want, that, you can go that way if you want. Both, you can either go the road here on the right, up the rock steps, and the billet track will take you there. Otherwise, we can go the more flat road which is Amber Lane's continuance. It's your call, I'm happy with whatever. Uh, I might have a try out there, eh? Roger, what do you say? Do you want me to go first? Yeah, yeah, you go first. Just billet track. Takes us all the way to first road in Blackwood. Hey, and then we just go around. What's billet track E? I don't know, it's E, it's not an E. That's not an E. All right, it's gonna go up this. I'll just sit, I'll give you something. Easy, the right line's so easy on that track. Yeah, the right one you get constantly. Personally. That's what we said last time. This is what I was explaining up before, guys. The right line on the 
look weird now. Huh. That's my guy. The right line uh, just has a nice, solid Take drive. out the window, I guess. Out the window, they can they can watch out the window for a little bit if you guys want. I get in front of a tree. Let's have a look. This path here, go up a couple of things. We're just trailing behind. Um, when we came out of Digger's track, we were on Firth Road, so I don't know how we ended up off it and back on Chettle Road. That I'm not 100% sure. I don't know if that's where Firth Road ends, we could have turned right. And we would have stayed on first row. So I'm gonna have to check that later and then in the comments, I'll leave a comment, uh, no, I'll leave a note in the description of the video explaining that once I find out later or I'll add it, annex it to the end of the video. But it's, I'm a bit confused how we actually ended up back on Chettle Road. My theory is that we probably could have turned right now out of um, yeah, first Diggers road. track yes. onto first road and it would have stayed on a gravel road to first campground but we'll, we'll check that out in a bit or later on uh, yep turning right that's pretty much it now we're on first road that's not ideal I'm not sure this is the well, it's not the only way we can go all the way around yeah whatever you want to do we don't have to go there we can go somewhere else I'll come back another day Like a Yui, road closes, road close, so. So many rocks in my tire, in my brake system right now. Oh, this is an angle. Jesus. It's oh. alright, we didn't need that rebar, guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, this will bring us out of Blackwood North. Yeah. This pretty much brings us out of the park. I ain't done it. Yeah, and that'll probably be it, I reckon. Uh, oh, all in all, good day. Good day. Didn't quite make it to um, first campground. Per first campground, just the road's closed. Not particularly keen on going around. Another we'll call it a day and head off. It's what, one, one o'clock, so that gets us home about three. Pretty good time actually to get home. Well, some road. We finally found a way out. Um, ah, it's been good, so I'm just going to air up, I reckon. You're going to hang around and do some other stuff? Yeah, no, Alright. I'll catch you later, man. Thanks for coming. Hey, thank you. No worries. Thanks, thanks, Have a good day. Keep out of trouble. <laughs> well, this gets us home about, what, 3 o'clock? 3.30? Yeah, yeah, so, we'll be able to... That's fine. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, we were up till about 1 last night, so... Just be careful, it looks like the weather might change as well. I'll go back the same way we came. Well, you wouldn't believe it guys. We're on the freeway about five minutes ago heading home and I pulled off the freeway quickly because we got a call from Cliff. He is ballied out on his chassis on billet track. Well, I'm not kidding. We're, we're in, if you have a look here, we're in um, Gisborne right now. We're getting some fuel uh, at, in Gisborne. So, all right, I've only got probably about 25 litres left in the tank, so I better fuel up, go back and try and save Cliff. Now, short day just turned into a long day. <laughs> Airing out again, twice in one day. Not a good thing. <laughs> I don't dare try and enter the truck on 40 feet of ice. Why not? It was your sense of adventure. Yeah, but two vehicle stuff, then what we do? Then we head down, bring the max tracks out and get ourselves unstuck. Unbelievable. <laughs> Alright, we've started our walk back down Billet Track. Now, we don't know exactly where Cliff is. He just said he was on Billet Track, so hopefully he's not got any track names confused. 
and he hasn't responded since um, he contacted us because apparently he walked up to a hill to let us know. I'm contacting because they're, some, they're, they're just different. When, when you go in holes the other direction, you're approaching departure angles, everything kind of changes. Um, and maybe that's what's actually happened. I'm thinking that maybe he, he drove in through a hole that he came through when we were on the way out before, and he th thought he'd be fine, he went back in, and that's where he's stuck. Um, it could only be one of the ones down here, because I don't remember any real deep ones um, anywhere else. Cliff, got a copy? We found him. All right, let's have a look. Let's just have a look at the situation first. Going on. Alright, we found him. He wasn't actually that far off. You have formed part of the first episode of North Rain. Oh, that's. that's... I think the front wheel hit that branch. Yeah. Standing sideways? I was standing there. Yeah. Um, yeah, 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 okay. Let's have a look. You won't. Yeah. That's, uh, you know that's... the other thing that I forgot? What's that? The recovery hitch. Yeah, that's alright. I bought my tow ball. But but... You got a pin that goes to it? Yeah, I got the tow ball. You got the, you got the pin, the little pin that goes to it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a uh, angle. Lucky it's not over the sills like Keithy did. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's, it's, it's super thick <laughs> in there, mate, hey? Well, you're right. That's why the wheel... Yeah, no, then, right. then there, see you come up, and then it's down again. Yeah, yeah, so what we'll do, I'll back in, and I'll just pull you back. I think, just, I think that's going to be the best way. It's just belly dumped, eh? I try to dig it out, and it goes all the what way back the winch? You can't winch for something? No, I turned it on. Yeah. Started pulling it out. It turned off and it won't even okay. won't even release on neutral neither. So okay. right. something's gone right, well, a bit pear shaped with it. Oh, gonna, have, you a, have you got a satch through it? I've got um all that kids made right, stuff. Oh. Oh, that's a bit of a bit of a Your hands on deck well. <laughs> um, also by the camera. Bring her over. I'll give you that. Can't even get the mat back under there because it's mud. Yeah. Every time I move the mud, the mud comes back in. Yeah. So. It's alright, we'll sort this out. Alright, guys, you want to pilot? We're going to do the thing, so. Enjoy. Sorry if the angles are bad. We're just going to gently, we're actually going to do a snatch. We're just going to see if I can drag you first, yeah. gently. And then if we need to, we'll then try a snatch, but I'll try and avoid that. Let's leave the UHF here, so there's a way for you guys to hear what's going on. All right, I'm good. Start recovery. Uh, we're just going to walk it forward first, see if we can try and pull you out with torque. Stop now. Woohoo! <laughs> uh, just like that, guys. Nice and simple. Nice and simple recovery. I tried to dig it out. My biggest stress was it was already over. Yeah. If I dig it out, it's just going to sink further and further. Understand. So, ah, bastard. Did you get some mud? What happened? I slipped, and uh, because I slipped, I went. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was worried about the fuel tanks on that side, too. Yeah. Got in stupid controls. Yeah. Just watch out, that's slippery ass. Alright. Well, we did it, guys. Not a, not a challenging one, it's good. Yeah. So, uh, 
Any um. <laughs> we'll have to send you. Any any last words, mate? <laughs> yeah, that was fun. <laughs> Make sure you go with all train action. <laughs> uh, and I'm... leave when they do. <laughs> I believe when we do. It was um we'll the shit hanging off the bottom then. We're on the colder guys. I was saying that before, yeah, yeah, you've got half the shit hanging off the bottom of the car. What you got? <laughs> okay. Well guys. Here are your uh stickers. <laughs> Oh, everyone.